Hello folks, this is the third time I've tried to film this video, so we shall see how we go. First things first, got one of my sheets of steel that I've done paint tests on before. I've got this one set up, ready to go. My uh, Posca pen's run out, so you, hopefully you can see that's uh, A061011, riser, A0621 and NC for Necron compound. That's what we're going to have a look at today. I've got some Dio dry brush paint from uh, Ammo. Uh, this is a light rust 610, medium rust 611, dark, normal rust 612. And I've got everyone's favorite riser rust. Then I've got a little separation and I've got the dry brush paint light metal 621. And then I've got my old Haggerty dry, drying up Necron compound. That's going in the bin after this. It's had it. Unfortunately, I think I left the lid open. Um, so, aim of the game, as always, with these. Let's do a little comparison. Colors. I've got the shakes really, really bad, so I do apologise for them. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit of comparison between the different paints. Mm. Oh, we're sneaking it today. Love it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll start left to right. Quick thing, first of all, before I say anything else, is... 611 and 612 are very close in colour. They didn't look as close in colour in the pictures, but they are very close, medium rust and normal rust. I think they'd be slightly different on the on the model or on the on the this like on the test. Very, very close. 611 is almost yellow. Like fresh, fresh, fresh light rust. Does have like a, a like a, a very light orangey yellow um, feel to it, so that can be explained away. Riser Rust is always is, is oversaturated. It's it's designed for fantasy figures, like Warhammer stuff, and 40k stuff. So the, the colours always always pop. Riser Rust is particularly orange for what it is. It's almost comical rust, if that makes sense. Uh, this light metal I'm looking forward to giving a go because it looks like. Oh, 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 oh yes, that should be good to have a go with. And um, so we'll see. So let's start off with this uh, light rust. Got a uh, it's actually a Dale Dale flat shader, but it's fine for a dry brush. A little bit on my brush. As you can see, that's very yellow. I think these will need a couple of coats. Going in a little bit wet because I think they will need a couple of coats. Look at the colour. That's six one zero. You can see the difference there. The medium rust, much more orange. Yeah, black's not not, not the best colour to, to be doing rust over as a demo. We'll build a couple of coats. I've got a couple of cars to try out on as well afterwards. Going a bit heavy, so I can build up the coats there. You never would normally dry brush that heavy. You'd have very, very little paint on your brush. Let's try that just next to it here. Yeah, over black, the coverage would be, it'd take all year. But black, that's the, only black, that's the only primer I've got apart from red oxide, and red oxide would be terrible. All right, 612, very, very similar. 610. How cheap is that? So that's the medium rust. That's just rust on its own. Definitely more orange. Defo, that's almost as if those two are together, possibly. I don't know what pigments are in there. If I did, I wouldn't be having to have this video. I 
I think I'm gonna have to go over a couple of coats on these. Let's do the riser next. Now we all know riser's awful orange. As in awfully orange, not as it's awful, awfully orange. As in, I say it's awfully orange. Look at that. Like I say, I'm going a bit thick with the paint, not not in the head. Wanna pull that off? Trying to thin. See the one that's the most orange is almost brown there. I'm doing it over black. That's a pain. Uh, that's fine. We'll carry on. We'll work it out. Take my brush. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to trying. Silver. Light metal. Ooh wee, that's shiny. Jeepers creepers, look at that. That goes on thick a bit better as well. Jeepers creepers. That's a metal one that. It's the Necron compounds in that. Knackered. Like it's really knackered. Barely got any there. Okay, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna put another layer of all the rusts on. The black is diluting the colours. I've got a green painted car here though. What I thought I'd do it is I'd just do a bit of dry brushing around it so we can have a look. I've also got this blue one, which I've sponge painted blue over like a brownie base. Almost rusty already. But I'm gonna add rust to it so I can give it a test out there. Let me just put another coat of rust on these three and we'll be back. All right, there we go. I even did a second cut on the riser rust as well. I won't really hammer this really heavy. So over a black surface, a dark surface, the, the light rust doesn't really sharp very well. It give you some, something will be there, but won't be too bright. And obviously these two are so close to each other. It's quite, it's quite scary how close they are in color. Riser rust is riser rust. Uh, the silver is super. I've only done one coat of this, both of the silvers. Silver seems to cover better over black anyway. There'll be some science to it, and I'm not very good with science, so I am good with science. I'm not very good with that sort of science. Anyway, um, yeah. So the uh, 610, like I say, looks very yellow. I had a fresh rust on the steel. I did, I did always each on the back of this, this silver plate. It's definitely hard wearing stuff. It's hard to get off. You can see the three shades there. So it shows up more orange on the silver. What I thought I'd do though is we'd do a quick car. Just to show them an action and dry my brush. So what I tend to do is I'd stick to one shade of rust. So I'm going with the with the rust, just rust.
see the light rust is showing up nice on this blue. Just put it in on the tailgate and just underneath the rocket launcher. As if the paint's been stripped away. I'll do a black effect later, obviously. And over the, the dark orange, it shows up as well. So that, that's not, that yellow is not to be written on yellow. <laughs> that light rust is not to be written off. It comes across quite nice. So look on the green. It shows up slightly on the green. Green's a hard one with rust. rust on stuff like this green one it tends to look more like dust than rust ain't, ain't a biggie so that showed through fine let's do a little comparison let's do that windscreen mesh in rise of rust let's see what it looks like oh yeah you can see it comes out almost comically orange it's such a high pigment. Oops, oops, a daisy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Almost comes out like a bright orange. That engine looks good. Well, let's give that engine some of this silver. Desperate to use this silver. <laughs> Just because it's, it's so silver. There's a little bit of orange left on the brush. But... Ooh wee! grill, bring that back a bit, bit on the rear bumper, bring that chrome back a little bit. There we go. So I paid for this stuff out of my own money. It's uh, not sponsored by anyone. I paid for it all myself, uh, like I say. I got them from scalemodelshop.co.uk. Uh, so I'll put a link to them in the description below. What do I think about them? I think that the light rust will get very little use from me, if I'm honest. And the medium and the rust itself, so those two there, they're so close to each other that I'll pick up either one or the other to use. Um, then the silver, the light metal, I'll definitely use that a lot. That'll probably be the first one I've run out of. I also picked up a dark gun metal, which we didn't show. Um, and I've got a couple more coming as well. Stickler for punishment. I thought I'd update, update some of my dry brushing stuff. Um, I don't use dry brushing as much as I used to. I tend to use more weathering powders and streak effects and stuff. But these are worthwhile picking up just for a, just for a look, just to look see. Uh, and there's plenty of paint on each one, so they'll last for donkeys, um, which is good. Uh, they're about £3.49 a pot. I can't remember how much GW paint is a pot. Um, like the uh, dry paint, but it's pretty much twice the size. So I don't think it's half the price. So I think value for money, you probably get better value for money out of the ammo stuff than you would out of the Citadel stuff. Um, I definitely buy them again. I recommend them, like I say. Light rust, I probably won't use as much as the others, purely because it is a bit ye more yellow than I thought it was. If I was to say to go out and buy one, I'd pick up either the medium rust or the rust, and I'd definitely pick up the light metal, um, just for dry brushing purposes. I hope that's been informative. Uh, that's a link's in the description below. Uh, and I'll speak to or see everyone next time. Thank you.